Hello and welcome to the first edition of Linux How-Tos. Every week I'm going to post a video to YouTube explaining how to do something in Linux. Uh, this is an important project because there really just is not uh, enough uh, simple, easy to understand and easy to find documentation for new Linux users out there. So uh, this week we are going to uh, be discussing how to use Windows wireless drivers in Linux using NDIS wrapper. Um, there are uh, not that many um, native wireless drivers for Linux because um, wireless device manufacturers tend not to release specifications to the open source community. So we're forced to um, use Windows drivers and NDIS wrapper. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, de going to determine what sort of wireless card we're using. So we're going to uh, switch to a root user using the su command. And we're going to type in our root password. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to run lspci, which should list all the devices connected to our PCI bus. And as you can see right here, this is my wireless card, uh, the Dell Wireless 1390. Another piece of information we're interested in is the uh, device ID and the vendor ID. So to get that information, we're going to run lspci again with the hyphen n switch. Looking at the analogous line, which is right here, we see the device and the vendor ID. Um, in this column, it's the column and there should be eight alphanumeric characters separated in the middle by a colon. Now, if you happen to be using a USB uh, device, your device is going to be listed under LSUSB right here. And your device and vendor ID are going to be in this column. Okay, so once you've written this information down, uh, we're going to open up a web browser and we're going to download and install NDIS wrapper from source. So I'm going to go to Scroogle here. And we're going to uh, search for NDIS wrapper. And it should be the first result. And uh, I'm just going to uh, zoom in the text a little bit so that uh, might be able to see it a little better, and we're going to go to download. And we're going to download the latest version from source, latest stable version. At the time of this video, the latest version is 1.52. So here it is. We're going to save this to disk. I keep all of my source tarballs in a directory called slash user slash src and then I have a, uh, a different directory for every package. Uh, so uh, my directory here already exists uh, for NDIS wrapper 1.52. If yours doesn't, you would just click here to create a new directory and you would name it after the package NDIS wrapper 1.52. But anyway, mine already exists, so I'm just going to uh, save this file here. It's a very quick download. So now we're going to go back to our terminal and uh, install this. All packages uh, that you get from source should be built as a unprivileged user. So I'm going to switch back to my regular account. I'm going to change directories to the Endis wrapper directory. And now we're going to untar this. We're going to do that using the tar command and a hyphen x for extract, z for a gzipped file. You can tell it's gzip because of the extension and F for what file? Since there's only one file in this directory, we can just use a wildcard. Now, now there should be a new directory that, directory that was just extracted. So we're going to change to that directory. And now uh, for this next step, you're going to have to make sure that you have uh, the development packages for your distribution installed. We're going to run make. Uh, the development package should include uh, kernel headers, should include GCC, make the entire uh, GNU toolchain, standard libraries, that sort of stuff. Chances are you have it already.
This just takes a couple of moments. There we go, all done. And we're going to switch back to root. Because now we're going to install this. And we're going to do that by simply running make install. And it's as simple as that. We should have a working version of Endis wrapper. The next step is to go back to the Endis wrapper homepage. And uh, we are going to download the Windows driver for our device. So we're going to go to Documents and Wiki. And we're going to go to the list of cards that are known to work. Uh, since mine is a Dell, uh, we're just going to go to the C through F list. Uh, and then I'm going to do a quick search for my card, which is the 1390. Here it is. As you can see, there are uh, two possible drivers here. The first one uh, has a major security bug, so we're going to download this. Now, I happen to have downloaded it already because it's a rather large file. But if I hadn't, I'd simply click on it and uh, select Save to Disk, and then I would uh, simply save it in the uh, same directory that I saved the original uh, source tarball. Which would be there, of course. But I've already done this step. So now we have to go back to the console here. Ignore this step. There. So there's our our driver. And we're going to make it a temporary directory just to uh, deal with extracting this driver. We're going to move the exe file into the temporary directory. So we're going to change to the temporary directory. Here we go. Now, even though this appears to be a Windows executable file, it's actually just a self-extracting zip file. So in Linux here, we can simply run unzip and then the name of the file, r140747.exe and we're going to be inflating this alright and here are all the file files we extracted so we're going to change to the driver directory now of course depending on um, what your driver happens to be this may be a little bit different what you're looking for is you're looking for the uh, correct INF file for for your card and it should be coupled with a .sys file so now we're going to run the endis wrapper tool user space tool that we just install, installed and if we just uh, type in its name it prints out a uh, a, a list of the available switches and what they do. So to install a driver, you use this first switch, hyphen i, and then the uh, inf file. So we're going to do endis wrapper, hyphen i, and then bcmwl5.inf. And there, oh, now we've installed the, uh, the uh, Windows driver into Linux. And the final step is to run endis wrapper hyphen m. And what this is going to do is it is going to uh, add an alias to um, to a file in the etc et directory that's going to um, associate uh, this device WLAN0 with the driver we're using, which is Endis Wrapper. So at this point, we should be able to type in ifconfig WLAN0 up. And ta da! As we can see, the uh, wireless device is now working. 
So now all we have to do is run IWList WLAN 0 S, and this is going to scan for available wireless networks. Of course, I don't happen to have any at the moment. But uh, there you go. A quick and easy way to install NDIS wrapper on your computer.